Hello everyone, my name is LaserJet and welcome back to another video on this channel. Now some of my audience have been asking me about my model railway table. When am I going to make another build video and like my Hornby and Backwind collection? How big is it? What kind of trains I've got? And what kind of rolling stock do I have? And basically people want an update of my model railway collection and I thought really done one in a while so I thought I'd get into this and and uh, keep you guys updated because you no know, that's what I do uh, and I just thought I thought I'd show you my Hornby collection well not just Hornby but back well I'll just say I'll just, I, need, I need to get Hornby out of my head and just say model railway collection because it's not just Hornby it's Backman and a few other bits as well which I think is which you guys are gonna find really cool and if you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel because, you know, it's only a click of a button. And also, this channel has hit 79,000 subscribers, which means we are only 1,000 away of hitting 80,000 and then we'll be just 20,000 more subscribers to hit my dream sub goal, which is 100,000 subscribers. So, click subscribe, guys, because, you know, share the channel with your friends and your family because, you know, this is what I do on the channel. We, we have fun. This channel creates friendships and and we have fun and I've run out of things to say. Now, first thing first is my model railway table. When am I going to continue work on this project? And I have to be honest with you guys, I don't know when I'm going to continue work on the table because it is an expensive project. It's 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 something that I've always wanted, but I never knew how expensive and how much time it will take to actually make it. So uh, even though I've got the cork down, but that's just the first layer of cork. I need to add a second layer of cork, and then after that, I need to buy some new track because the track I'm using currently it's all rusty, it's all worn out, and it's 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 old basically. So I need new track, and I'm planning to have a four track mainline. So I'm gonna need quite a lot of track if I had to be honest. But I really want to continue work on the table because it it looks fantastic. I mean, I want to start adding some details, but I can't yet until I get the right cork, the right track, and also the right ballast when I place the ballast down because the ballast I've got at the moment it's cool but one it's not enough and second it's the wrong one that I want I want a much more darker ballast because the one I've got at the moment is is, is is too bright I need something that's more a bit more darker but like the point is everything's expensive so the project on the uh, on the table and the detailing uh, has come to a halt at the moment I don't know when I'm gonna continue work on it um, because obviously I, need to, I have to save up until I get the right equipment and materials as well because materials are quite expensive. And but but I will I will start work on this again, but I can't say when because I don't actually know myself. And that's me being completely honest. I don't know when I'm gonna start the, the like continue making the project look good. But that's okay, at least I've got the basic down, the table and the frame and the first layer of cork, so I can still run trains and do like model railway reviews, but it's not what I want at the moment. But like, as I said, it is a big project. It's it's not something that everyone does where they just build a massive, um, you know, like a massive table in their living room because this table is 14 and a half feet long and seven and a half feet wide, so it's, it's pretty big. It's bigger than most living rooms you get in modern houses these days. Okay, so this is the moment some of you have been waiting for. How big is my model railway collection? What, how many trains do I have and what kind of stuff do I have? So let me show you. Now starting at this end of the table, I have got my Backman A1 Tornado and the Backman Class 450 with lights, all DCC fitted of course. Um, but uh, none of these guys have sound because normally I fit sound in my locomotives. But none of these have sound. And if I had to be honest, uh, I am i don't really run Backman anymore. So I don't really know why I still have this. I, I was thinking of selling the Class 450. But then I realised that actually this is very this was very expensive actually. This was like, what, 350 quid. So I'm actually keeping this because, you know, I do these are these are my local trains. Southwest trains or Southwestern Railway now, that I believe they're called. But I'm going to keep this because uh, it is nice. It's a, it's a nice train. Well, nice rolling stock to have as well. Um, what you know, uh, EMU set. That's what I meant to say. Uh, this is a nice collection. I, I, a while ago, I was thinking of selling it, but I'm not now. So 
I'm actually glad I'm not. Uh, moving down the table, we have this that I haven't actually made a video review yet, which uh, will happen in the future on this channel, so look out for this. Uh, I actually bought this at Margate uh, when I went to see Bitten and the Black Five and the Eurostar. Uh, and I bought this as a souvenir for what an amazing trip it was. Um, this is this is the uh, this is the, the Hornby tornado, and it comes with three coaches. And I I don't want to say too much because I have yet to review this, so um, I'm not gonna say much about it. But that's what I've got at the moment. And moving down as well, we have got the Flying Scotsman with TTS sound as well. Uh, DCC fitted, of course, uh, in the lovely BR Green, number 60103. And you guys remember this guy, we have the Class 87 in the nice Virgin livery, very nice. And we have this, uh, the Class 66 in the uh, British Railway livery, which I think is really nice. I do like the, the blue and the, uh, and the yellowy orange, it does look nice, doesn't it? Uh, both of them uh, are fitted DCC, so they both have working lights, because if you guys remember, I actually fitted uh, the lights uh, myself in the Class uh, in the class 66, so I've uh, never done that before, but uh, only the 66 has sound, and so does the Flying Scotsman, but this sadly doesn't have sound, but it's an electric train, I mean, I mean, what, what can you ask for more than working lights on a modern, well, not modern, because these were made in the 80s or 1970s, I think, I, I don't actually know, I need to work on my train history, but moving along, uh, we've got my uh, Railroad Mallard, um, and we've got the uh, Duke of Gloucestershire, Gloucestershire, I can't say its name properly. Uh, this is uh, TTS sound fitted already, so it's factory fitted. This is probably, I have to be honest, this is probably the best sounding engine I own right now because um, because I didn't fit the sound myself, it was factory fitted. The sound is so bassy and it's beautiful and it's very crisp and clean as well. And then we have this. Uh, as you guys remember, I did a review on this uh, particular engine. I'm not going to say much. But this is a, uh, oh, I can't pronounce its name. It's, uh, I'll zoom in so you guys can see, because I can't actually pronounce it. It's a BR Patriot class. I think that's that's what it is. Uh, I only bought this because I thought it looked nice with uh, with my collection, because uh, I don't really have these type of engines, and uh, they do look nice. It's like a bigger version of a Black 5, but basically with, uh, well, actually, it's more like a Jubilee class, but with smoke deflectors, I suppose. Um, but so far, that's what my collection is going down the line. And then we have this. This is something I'm really proud of. This is my uh, Flying Scotsman USA Tour uh, 18 karat gold uh, special edition. Uh, this probably was the most expensive model I've ever bought. Um, I think it was one about 350 quid or, or maybe nearly 400, I think. But probably one of the most expensive I've ever bought. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's lovely. I haven't actually, I nev never run this and probably never, well, I never will, I suppose. Because uh, I want to stick it on a shelf and just put it on display because it, it, will, it will look really nice. But I'm not going to show that on camera uh, because I want to keep it as mint as I possibly can. And going down here, we have got a West Country class and a Merchant Navy class. Uh, both fitted with TTS sound as well. And I have to say that the Merchant Navy class, and I can't believe I'm actually saying this, this is probably my most favourite model I have out of the whole collection. And I know that's saying quite a lot, but you know, it's just my opinion, because that's how much I'm, I love the Merchant Navies. Uh, this is probably the best model I've got, because I've added like detail on this myself, and it just looks fantastic. And moving down, we have got a Castle class and a King class, because I thought I'd have some GWR in the collection. Um, I do love a King Class and BR Blue though, it, it just looks really nice. And moving down, uh, these are my personal favourites. We have got the Black 5 45379 and the 9F 992212. Um, but like, these are the one to one collections, including with Bitten with two tenders. So that's quite nice actually, I really like that. But this is the one to one collection, and this is quite dearly close to my heart because. When I was younger, I remember seeing all three of these engines together at the Midhands Railway and um, seeing them all once again uh, when I went to Margate and then having them all as m models. It's, 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 it's actually really like deep close to my heart and I actually have all these trains on Train Simulator. So, um, so yeah, this, this one's quite personal to me. Uh, and now we have this, uh, which I haven't actually done a review on it yet. This is the Helljan Class 33. My dad loves these type of diesels, and I can see why, because the, the Helljan, okay, I actually spent about, ugh, I don't want to say too much, because, like, you know, I need to do a review on this, but I spent about 140 quid, 
uh, buying this brand new. Um, fitted a DCC chip in it, and it's got working lights as well. It doesn't have sound, unfortunately, but you know, I can live with that. And the reason why I bought this particular one, because the, the, I love the white wheels, and I love the, uh, the axles are all painted, and best of all, the nameplate, uh, as far as I can zoom in, it actually says Eastley on the side. The name Blake says Eastley, which is my hometown. So that that's why I bought this one. So this one's actually very special. But I haven't done a review on this yet, but I will. So look out for that further on future videos. And then we have got my um, schools class Wellington, uh, which is slightly broken because um, the wheels here on the front bogies are slightly falling off. But I can fix that. I can, I can mend anything. Actually, no, I'm more better at breaking things than mending stuff. But, like, no, this this is in repair at the moment, so... Um, but it's still a nice model to have. And I've got this that I, I don't think I've actually reviewed yet, uh, which is a Class 42 XX. Uh, I don't want to say too much about it. Um, but what I will say is this, that I have, I've already done a review, but I haven't made... A, well, I haven't uploaded it yet, but I have done it. I just haven't gone around to editing it yet. But I have to say, and this might be a spoiler, but I have to say that this is probably the, one of the best running models I've ever had because it runs so smooth the crawl is so good I, I can't wait to show you guys this 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 magnificent tank engine and then we've got the new Hornby Peckett which I haven't done a review on it yet which I will in in future videos and then we have got my Thomas the Tank Engine uh, collection we've got Oliver which I've done a review we've got Thomas Percy James Edward Henry and um, Gordon and I do I like I have to say the Thomas the Tank Engine collection was ridiculously expensive because I've bought all the Thomas the Tank Engine collections second hand off eBay and they were not cheap because these are quite rare to find now so I'm uh, uh, I'm actually really glad that I've uh, I, I've got all of them but I have got the, the main characters so I, I'm, I'm I'm really pleased with that and then going along down the table that's um that's my uh, model railway collection. Some of them, um, as I said, I haven't actually done reviews on them yet, um, but I will very soon. So look out for that. I can't wait to review this. This is this is going to be epic. Um, but yes, a lot of you have been wondering how big is my model railway collection and how many engines do I have? Because I got a letter from someone who I'm not going to say. Uh, he sent me a pic. Well, he sent me lots of pictures, and he said he had, he had like thirty like different locomotives, well, models, I should say. I don't think I have anything as close to that, so let's count them out. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28 uh, model uh, locomotives. So, um, I mean, I, I think, I mean, 28. I mean, that, that 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 that's 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 more than enough, I think. But it, 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 also, as well, like when you look at the boxes, it's like you're either at a railway convention or you're at a model railway shop. Because I love, I don't know what, but I just love the boxes. Because I don't know, they, they just look pretty. I mean, you guys might think I'm weird, but I just love the boxes. The boxes are really, really pretty, and I'm I'm. Oh, they're, just so, they're just so lovely to look at. Now for the rolling stock, I have got, well, in my opinion, I've got quite a few rolling stock, which I'm quite proud of, as I shall show you right now. Ugh. Got this big, delicious box, and I can't actually find any way to put this box down, so I'm gonna have to improvise. Now the coaches are basically just piled on top of each other, so it's gonna take a nightmare to get through. So I'm just gonna show you guys the basics. Um, what I've got, I've just got some, like, you know, every, every, everyone has these, like, these cool box carriage things. Uh, and in Clarabelle, you know, for the Thomas and Friends collection. Uh, I've got Flying Scotsman's Second Tender, which is, I, I wouldn't class that as rolling stock, but, like, you know, it's got no motor in it, so I guess I could. But basically, these are quite nice, actually. I actually weathered these myself. Um, they're not perfect, but, like, you know, that's weathering. You get to, you know, make up your own stuff, and, you know, you get to... Paint what you want. Uh, I've got some delicious, beautiful uh, coal trucks with uh, not real coal, but like coal look like detailed things in them. So that's what that's quite good. This is pretty cool though. Um, 
I actually, uh, you guys remember, I actually weathered uh, this. Uh, it doesn't work, it's got no motors. You guys remember from my uh, from the video where I actually painted this. Uh, I've got a Class 59 with lights and sound fitted to it, so that's really nice. Um, but basically, I've got some, you know, LNE Artique coaches, um, Mark 1s. Uh, but basically, like, they're all just piled on top of each other. But, like, that's that's my rolling stock. Um, it's not much, but it, it's, it's, it's a collection, and, and I like it. So, um... So there you have it, that is that is my, uh, those of you who were interested, that is my um, model railway collection. I've shown you guys the table, I've shown you guys my actual uh, models in their boxes, and I've shown you my rolling stock, sort of. Um, because you have to be on, you guys are, you are aware, you have to remember, I, I'm not very good at uh, reviewing stuff, I'm not very good at, um, you know, showing, uh, Models and and stuff because you have to remember I'm a train simulator youtuber like like I'm very good at like playing Train simulator. I'm good at playing games. That's what I meant to say uh, But when I actually do like real life stuff you have to forgive me. I'm I'm, I'm not very good uh, I'm not the best and also um, It's it's something I need to get better at because I don't I hardly do any real life stuff like the only real life stuff the real life stuff I do is either um, do fan meetups, go to Heritage Railway Lines, or do model railway reviews. That's the, the only thing I do. Or if I go off to on rail tours or or, or special events like train steam galas at, at railways and stuff. But like that's that's the only things I do um, in my real life world. I don't I don't I don't I don't vlog much because because um, I'm not very good. My, my my life's not that interesting to vlog, so that's why I don't really uh, do vlogging. But like also. Um, I can't just go around walking with a camera everywhere I go. It'd be quite boring and um, it'd be quite tiresome, ty tiresome, ty tiring. I'll just say tiring. It would be very tiring for me to actually film every single moment of my life. So that, that's why I don't really do it. Ah, but that concludes our video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Thank you so much for um, getting this channel up to 79,000 subscribers. I, I can't believe how far this channel has come now. It's it's almost scary of how much this channel's growing. And it's 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 amazing, but it's very scary too because... Um, because you know, I, I, like a lot of people are now are now seeing me as the, like their idol now. Because I had this, I had, I had a letter from a fan like saying apparently I'm like their like their YouTube hero or something. And I'm not, so, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel like a YouTube hero at all. I have to say this right now. I don't feel like a hero. I just, I'm just a guy who just makes videos and put, places them on the internet on a YouTube channel. That that's that's basically how I feel. But a lot of people. Like, some people actually take time and sit back and think, actually, he's done a lot of hard work. And, and you know, being a YouTuber, it, it, it is a lot of hard work. So it is, um, it, it is hard. But thank you so much for watching, my friends. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye for now. <laughs>